What's going on, everybody? This is Mark West with Club Guinea Pig. I am your Club Guinea Pig. Yo, today we are going to be talking about human growth and development. Now, I must say, I took this exam weeks ago. Terrible, I know. I should have posted this video when I took the exam. I have no excuse. I'm very sorry, alright? Um, I went on a trip, family trip, came back, and went on another trip. I said no excuse in there. I go giving you excuses. Sorry. Check this out. <laughs> All right. So human growth and development. It's part of my um, new and improved policy. I'm going to try to make these videos short and sweet. All right. So we're going to get right into it. If you want the exam breakdown, I'm posting the link to the exam breakdown in the comments block. So go check it out there. I know usually I would read it off to you. Time to save some time. That's what my goal is. I do have children present. I usually try to make these videos when children are not present, but seeing how is, I'm basically a single father for today, that was a joke. Uh, children are present, so if you could just like block them out and listen to me, that would be great. Alright, so I have I took really good notes. I do not have my slip, my test slip. Um, I usually have that, I usually show it to you and show you my score. I don't have it. I think it's upstairs somewhere, I'm not sure. I didn't want to look for it because I wanted to get this information out to you guys. I got a 38 on this exam. All right. My word should be good for it. I've made plenty of these videos. So I've got a 38 on this exam. It was probably one of my worst scores that I've ever gotten. If you've never watched my videos before. Sorry, I'm shaking the table. If you've never watched my videos before and you and you've uh, this is your first time, you're like, well, why are you celebrating the fact that you failed the test? Let me explain. All right. I don't study for these exams. I go into the exams blind as a bat reason why I do that is because I want to show people, hey, if I can go into this exam, not study for it, a lot of the times I don't even really know a lot of the material, but I'm just kind of going off of what's in this uh, amazing mind of mine. Um, if I just go in there blind and don't study and I and I can still get a score, like almost a, a passing score, which most exams, a passing score is a 50, and the average score that I've gotten on my exams is like a 40, um, between the 40 and the 46. So if I can go in there and pull that off, Imagine what I could do if I would have studied, right? And that's what I'm trying to show you guys. If you guys study, because it's not about me, it's about you, right? It's about what you're doing with your life and with your testing preparation. So if you study and you use me as an example to not do what I do and do better than me, then man, you're going to freaking pass with flying colors. And that's the whole point of why I do what I do, right? <laughs> like that. So I'm going to, without further ado, get to my notes. Please check out some of my other videos. Um, if you find this video valuable, I have lots of other valuable information for you to share, including my uh, ultimate uh, study guide, study week um, plan to help you get your whole study life together when it comes to clip exams. So human growth and development. Let me get to my notes. So reading from my notes really quick, I'm just going to give you a few key concepts. It should give you like an idea of what this test is going to be like, what they're going to ask you. Um, I'm not going to get too extensive with this video because, like I said, I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. Here we go. Uh, different types of studies. All right, these are everything that I'm telling you is things that you're going to want to know. You're going to want to research. Google is your friend, and you're going to want to get a get a good grasp of the concept. Um, and then I'm going to even give you a few people that um, were mentioned in the exam. Uh, a few vocabulary words and even um, some questions that I remember. All right, so check this out. Uh, different types of studies. I'm talking about correlational studies. What the difference between that and observational studies, cross-sectional studies, a case study, experimental studies. Um, people like Noam Chomsky, Albert Bandura, um, B.F. Sinker, um, Juan Pavlone, or that could be Evan Pavlone. I don't know. My handwriting is freaking terrible. Sorry, guys. Um, you're going to want to know who those people are, uh, what they're famous for or known for. Um, excuse me. Hey, out. Daddy's making a video. You're going to want to know who those people are, what they're famous for or known for, um, and which one of those people is a natives, nativist. Sorry. <laughs> which one of those people is a nativist? That was like a question that I remember. I wrote that down. Um, you're going to want to know things like moral development, um, integrity versus despair, uh, care versus perspective, uh, conventional morality, post-conventional morality, uh, psychosocial stages of development. I'm talking industry versus integrity. I'm sorry, industry versus inferiority. Uh, 
autonomy versus shame, uh, <clears throat> initiative versus guilt. You're going to want to know some brain functions, right? The occipital lobe. What are some of the functions of that part of the brain? Um, you probably want to know all the functions of the brain just to be safe. Uh, generic, I'm sorry, genetic similarities. So um, there were questions on their genetic similarities like between twins and, and uh, sons and daughters. Like what? Uh, genetic similarity. I don't want to keep talking to make myself sound like an idiot. Describe secondary sex characteristics. You're going to want to know what those are. Um, there's a, a woman by the name of Tiffany Fields who conducted a study that had to do with uh, weight loss um, in infants. You're going to want to know what that was about. Research that. Check that out. Um, you want to know different uh, parts of like the, 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 what is it, the genetic makeup in like in children. I'm um, talking, you know, X, Y chromosome type stuff. There were questions on there about that. Um, components of vision in uh, infants, pattern perception, depth perception, visual acuity, tracking, uh, size con constancy. And that is just like a taste, like a little taste taste of what types of things you can find on this exam. Now, if you want more information... Here's why I do my sales pitch. If you want more information, uh, you feel free to reach out to me. All right. Um, for those of you guys that follow me, that know me, you guys know I'm very accessible. A lot of you have already reached out to me. You guys text me, email me, whatever. Um, reach, reach out to me. Let me know if you got any more specific questions. I'll be happy to find an answer for you. You can text me at 619-432-5947. Check me out at Club Guinea Pig. Please follow me. Subscribe to me. i um, working on a, a plethora of knowledge and information that will be accessible to you guys. Um, so sign up for notifications and emails and all that good stuff. All the links are in the comments block. Please, I'm sorry I'm trying to speak over my loud, obnoxious children. You guys have an awesome day. Thank you. And I hope I could provide you with lots and lots of value. I know my lips are ashy. I don't need some lotion. All right, guys. Take care.